Well, the analysts, some of the self side analysts, if they uh, perform well in terms of recommendation uh, performance, so let's say they recommend uh, Google, Yahoo, and uh, Yahoo and Google did well, and uh, next period, uh, if we rank, you know, rank analyst performance based on the current period performance, and then we follow through to the next period, let's say next year, and we track the performance and see whether they can also do well, the, the good ones can stay, you know, outperform and the worst ones would uh, uh, continue to do worse. Um, and we find that that's actually the case. And uh, that's important for the uh, investment community in the, se in the sense that uh, if they can identify those outperforming analysts, potentially they can follow that recommendation and uh, potentially make money from that. Uh, from academic side, uh, it's important in the sense that it provides uh, some evidence that market is not completely efficient. Uh, although, you know, making money from that uh, information is not trivial either because you have to invest to, you know, discover that information and continue, you know, uh, maintain that uh, discovery. And that's, uh, you know, um, sort of like the trade-off in terms of market efficiency. So analysts who have a good track record are ones you should listen to, is that right? Right, yeah. So just uh, looking at the, uh, the actual performance and uh, see whether they, they do well in the past. If they do well in the past, uh, very, with very high likelihood, they're going to continue to do well uh, in the future as well. Yeah. So that's one of the paper, uh, I would say, uh, uh, research on my financial analysts.